Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. Last week, I received an email from a friend. She said, hey, since you're a Mac user, you should check out Set App. I think you'd find it super useful. And I told her, yeah, I'll check it out. And then I kind of forgot about it. And a couple days went by and she emailed me, hey, did you check out Set App? And I said, no, I've been really busy, but I'll check it out. And then I kind of forgot about it. And then I finally got around to checking it out today. And it really is pretty cool. The whole concept is... They have a bunch of apps and you just subscribe and you could use all the apps all you want for free, load them on your computer and they all work 100%. They're not crippled in any way. Everything works as though you purchased the app outright. So I read that and I go, well, what kind of apps do they have? They probably have junk that I probably don't use. So I went to all apps to see what apps they have. And I just scrolled down and right away I saw Clean My Mac 10. Since I've been a Mac user, like several years ago, I've used Clean My Mac to make sure that my Macs are running properly. I, I think it's really a great application. The thing is, it's like an $80 application. And kind of one of the things that annoys me about Clean My Mac is just about every time Apple comes out with a new updated operating system, you know, they go from, you know, uh, whatever, Leopard to Snow Lion to whatever, you know, they go, now they're at Catalina. Um, the Clean My Mac comes out with a new version that you have to pay for. And it always bugged me. And I have it on two computers. And it's it just drove me nuts. Well, it's included with your uh, subscription to Set App. And I said, wow, that's pretty good. So, well, Set App, then I was looking through and they have some, a lot of applications I've heard of and that I not necessarily always use, but some of them I have used. And I thought, well, it's got to be kind of expensive. So I went to pricing, and it's only $9.99 a month. And you could have it on two Macs. And if you want to pay for a whole year, it would uh, cash out to $8.99 a month. So it's still, like, super affordable. And I thought, why should I spend 90 bucks on just that one application for two computers when I could just do $9.99 a month and have that and 172 and counting other applications as well. So I signed up for it and I got really enthused. I became an affiliate as well. So all the links below will be my affiliate links. Now, how it works is once you sign up, get their seven day free trial, you'll download an application for your Mac. And it's like, it looks kind of like the app store, but it's the set app app store. And what you'll do is from here, you could then shop for your apps. And of course, they're all included. You're not paying anything when you do this. And you could download them to your computer. They're fully working, up-to-date apps. Um, you know, I really don't know how they could make any money at it. But, you know, you could use all the apps. There's no limitations or anything like that is what I'm trying to say. So, of course, being a photographer, I wanted to look at... Um, what photography related apps they have. So I just searched for some photography related apps and I put them in my favorites bag here and I'll just go over them really quickly with you. Um, some of them I've used, some I have not. Some of I, I've heard of, some I have not. I've heard of Camera Bag Pro. I've not used it. It's a professional editing and filtering for photos and video. That's there. There's Emulsion and I don't think I've heard of Emulsion. Emulsion is the alternative photo manager for your Mac. They have Flume. Flume allows you to um, post to Instagram from your Mac. Uh, so a lot of people would find that useful. Photomagic Pro. Uh, this is for doing customized slideshows. Um, never used it. I have heard of it, but I've not used it. Uh, Glue Motion is for time-lapse video. I've not heard of it. And this is one that I am going to try out because I like doing time-lapse uh, time video. And I want to check that out. Luminar Flex. I mean, if you follow me, you know about Luminar Flex because I've done tons of videos on it. Um, at least over 100 videos on Luminar in general. And Luminar Flex is included in uh, the subscription as well. Meta Image. This is so you could edit the metadata of an image. Permute. So you could convert uh, an image to a different format or convert a video to a different format. Photo Bulk, about maybe four years ago, I actually did a video on uh, Photo Bulk, which allows you to edit images 
in bulk and you could watermark images in bulk with it as well. Photo Lemur, I've done at least five videos on Photo Lemur. I think it's an awesome app. It's included as well. And Touch Retouch is not um, an uh, application I've heard of. It's called, they're calling it, it's Photo Correction for Busy People. So that's kind of cool to check out. So they have a number of photography related apps. They might have more than this. I just did a search for photography and this is what popped up. But they have all different kinds of writing apps. Uh, I check because my son is uh, going to school. My youngest son is going to school for journalism. And I check some, you know, journalism related screenplay uh, app, uh, stuff like that. I was looking, they have stuff like that. They have all types of apps to keep your Mac running well. Um, over here, you can see they have lifestyle creativity. Uh, they have uh, developer tools, productivity, Mac hacks, writing and blogging, education, maintenance, task management, and personal finance. So I think it's pretty cool. Um, wanted to share it with you. Again, in the description below this video will be links uh, to their website. Check it out if you're interested. Sign up for that uh, seven-day free trial and see if they have enough apps that you'd use that would make it worthwhile to you. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.